retractable banner stands are one of our most popular signage products. With an adhesive leader retractable banner stand, your custom printed graphic banner rolls up easily, is lightweight, and perfect for advertising on the go. If you want to replace your existing roll-up display banner's graphics without buying an entirely new system, then this video is for you. This is Liz, our production art department lead and expert in everything banner stands. Follow her instructions seen here and interchanging your banners will be easy like Sunday morning. First things first, you're going to need a few things before we get started. First, a roll of good, durable, double-sided tape. We use 3M, but you can use whatever you like. A 2mm Allen key and the tension pin from your original banner kit. Release your banner from the base and lay it out on a nice flat surface. You can see that Liz has the pin ready as she stretches the banner out. The pin stops the banner from retracting back into the base. So once you insert the pin into place, you stop the barrel in its tracks. Insert the pin into its hole on the side of the base. If you release just a little bit of pressure you are applying to the banner, allowing it to retract ever so slightly, the barrel will twist gently and the pin will pop into place. And then, let's start at the top rail. Use a two millimeter Allen key to loosen the screws, allowing the top rail to release some of the tension holding the banner and the V-shaped insert that it is attached to. Once you've loosened the screws, use the Allen key to push the V-shaped insert up into the wider part of the top rail. Now you can slide the V-shaped rail and the banner that's attached to it out of the top rail. Carefully, detach the banner from the V-shaped rail from one end to the other. Let's remove the banner from the bottom now by detaching it from the base. You'll notice at the bottom of your banner, the graphic is attached to a white piece of vinyl. This is the leader. Simply peel the two pieces of tape that are securing the banner to the leader. First, by removing the tape that is on top, and then by removing the banner from the tape that is adhering to the bottom side. So now your graphic is officially removed. Please note, once the banner has been removed, do not pull the pin from the base, because this is what will happen. If this does happen to you, the leader is retrievable, but the banner barrel will lose its tension. Lay the leader out and tape the sides to a table. Lay a strip of the double-sided tape across the top edge of the leader, sticky side down. Now overlap about an inch of the leader with an inch of the bottom of the replacement graphic and tape the sides to the table. Remove the tape backer and press the banner down to stick in place. You can go ahead and untape them from the table now. We like to apply a second layer of tape to make sure that the banner does not come unattached during retraction. Regular packing tape will do the trick. Assuming you still have the V-shaped insert removed from the top rail, apply the sticky side that is already exposed to one side of the V-shaped insert. If your tape is wider than the rail, just use an X-Acto knife to trim the unwanted edge off. Peel the cover off of the tape's second side, exposing the sticky adhesive. Line the wider part of the V-shaped insert up into the top edge of the banner and press the rail insert onto the banner, applying pressure across the entire rail so it adheres evenly. From there, insert the V-shaped rail and the newly adhered banner into the side of the top rail and push it across till all the sides line up. Use the Allen key to tighten the four screws within the top part of the rail. Go on back to the base of the banner stand. Put pressure on the area where the banner and leader are connected and gently pull the pin out of the side of the base while maintaining just enough pressure to let the banner retract into the base slowly. The banner may have a tendency to roll faster on one side than the other, so just guide it by giving a gentle tug in the opposite direction. Congratulations, you have, hopefully, successfully interchanged your roll-up banner display. We assume you know the drill from here, but just in case, assemble the tension rod and attach it to the top rail hook. While maintaining resistance to the base, then put the bottom of the tension rod into the hole in the base's top. You're ready to go. Happy bannering!